Hey, I'm, uh, I'm wondering if you had a couple minutes, if you could help me understand the best practices for cold. Absolutely. I'm happy to help. Great. Thank you. No problem. The first one I would recommend is ensuring that we're committing batches regularly. Um, a way to check that is to go into our thick client here and go to our processing tab, cold, and within this we see our cold queues. Um, the one we'd want to look at is the awaiting commit queue here. Now, if there's anything in this queue, we want to make sure that those do go ahead and get committed. Um, the reason we want to do that is because if there is anything in this queue and something were to happen to your system, all of these batches would be lost. Um, so in order to prevent that, we want to make sure that we're regularly committing those batches um, so that we don't lose any of that information or data. In order to do that, we can just select one of those and hit commit selected. It'll ask us if we're sure We say OK. And it's done. Obviously, in the real world, you might want to have someone make sure and go through the batch uh, to see if there's any documents or any additional processing that needs to be done before that. The second best practice would be to make sure that we are checking our processes for accuracy. So a simple way to do that would be to just look at the documents that have already been processed through your cold processes that you've been running. Um, so to do that, you would just go into retrieval. I would find one of I would find one of the cold processes and I would just look at the document, make sure that all the keywords are accurate and included. There's no like extra pages or anything funny looking. Um, and if all is good, then I know that my process is running correctly. It's just a simple way to check that. A third best practice would be reviewing some of the verification reports um, just periodically. Um, we want to do that just to ensure that the processes are running properly um, and everything looks good as far as them executing. So to do to view the verification reports, that's also in document retrieval. Um, it is a document type that is a part of our system documents. And it is called Sys Verification Reports. We open one for our cold process that we ran. Then this is what this document kind of looks like. Um, if there were any errors or issues that would show kind of in this first section, um, with any of those. If there's nothing there, that means that it ran without a problem. And in this case, it looks like we're good to go. So you might be thinking, um, if you have a lot of processes in your system that are generating these reports, then uh, it might be a lot to check for each of the processes, these verification reports. Um, if that is the case for your system, uh, there is a setting that can be applied called accumulate processing information that might help um, pull together all of these reports into one daily report, essentially. Um, in order to enable that, if we go to our on-base configuration, go import, cold and we'd select one of our uh, cold queues go to settings options 
And then you'll see right here in the middle, accumulate processing information. You go ahead and hit save. And the way to view these is actually through the thick client. So I'm gonna go here and just quickly relaunch my client. And then I'll go processing and you'll see here, there's these options now with view daily report. So that is what I would select. I haven't done any processing today, so there's nothing to show, but it would show you a document similar to the verification report um, and show you any errors or any issues with any of those processes that have run for the day. And our final recommendation um, would be to review the SIS unidentified items document type every once in a while as well. Um, so this document type is gonna show you if there's um, any unidentified items in the processes that you're running. Um, so if we're back in retrieval here in the Unity client, we're under our system documents and it's called SIS unidentified items. We'll go ahead and retrieve. And it says no documents found. This is a good thing. This is what you wanna see. Uh, if no documents are found, that means your processes are running properly. Um, if you do find documents here, it could be because of extraneous characters or um, other issues with the process itself. Um, but it's worth it to check just in case the documents are important um, for your work. With that, that is some of our best practices with cold processes. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. If you have a question that you would like answered on an upcoming question corner, please leave a comment below.